I bought myself a present. Now, I bought this because I returned my last Fusion Splicer. One of my YouTubers took my recommendation. I'm very sorry, very, very sorry. I followed your suit. And he bought the Vivor um, Fusion Splicer. It worked, but I had a couple issues with it. I spent two months trying to get support from them to help me. And I got the runaround. So I phoned Amazon and they said, sorry, it's too late. We can't refund you. And I said, I've been trying to get support from them for the longest time. Nobody will help me. I bought this product and it doesn't work. Amazon said, fine, we'll give you a refund. They gave me a refund. The moral of that part of the story is don't buy anything Viver. Instead, maybe buy this one. So I tried this one. The same guy that had the same issue as me recommended this unit. So... I'm going to unbox it and show you what I got now, and uh, I'm going to take you on a journey on how to use it. I don't even know what's in the box. So, my trusty knife, and all my duties and import stuff that you have to pay are right here. Don't look at that. That's not part of the video. I'll keep those just in case. And... Let's see if I don't cut myself open here. Comshine, uh, pretty new brand, maybe, maybe not, to uh, Fusion Splicers. I've seen a couple of them on their site. Whoa. Oh, I'm still here. Wow, that, woo. Hey, this, this is packed really well. Cardboard. big box. There's no handle on this, is there? No. I guess I'm gonna have to take it off and show you guys. <clears throat> now, initially didn't really need the case that this comes with. Watch me struggle getting it out of here. It's in there good. But I got it anyways. It was like an extra $50 for this hard case with all the stuff inside of it. And I thought, eh, what's another couple uh, fiber cutters and tools and stuff like that for the extra $50 plus a nice hard case for it. So I bought it. This will protect it if I ever take it with me and go do stuff. What do we get? Ooh, really nice case. That's durable. And this thing is like some kind of seat that clips on here somehow. What does it say? Oh, maybe it goes on the back side or something? I don't know. I'll figure it out after. Read the instructions maybe. But anyways, so I got this. Comes with a case. Lots of goodies inside I think too, but for the price that I paid. Wow. Holy. That really is presented very nice. Look at that. Look at that guys. We've got my fusion splicer in the center. We got a vest of some sort. Probably not gonna use that because I'm not gonna be doing fiber to the home stuff. We got some brushes and cleaners. Battery. Oh, we'll take that out. That's a big battery too. 12.6 volts. Oh, sorry. Voltage is 10.8 at 7.8 amp hour. That's a big beast. Oh, it's fully charged too. Look at that. Nice. Okay. We got a big thing of instructions manual. Holy, this is way better than the Viver one. We got an inspection certificate because I guess they inspect it and make sure that it works before it leaves the factory. That's nice. A big power supply. Oh, is it a power supply? Yeah, power supply. What's this? Oh, that's a power adapter. That's a biggie. Okay, I'm going to put that back in here. We got a strap. Cool. And it's got a big, really insulated piece of foam in here. So, I mean, if you drop this, it might break the case. Maybe not because it's pretty thick, but it's going to make sure everything doesn't move around in there. So we got power supply, power cord. Oh, is that the US version? Yep. Proper one. But I noticed that it uses the standard IEC connector. So if you're in another country, let me just say that. Hold on. 
let me just see here. Most likely, most, most power adapters are switch mode, so they can go from 110 to 220. And yeah, this one goes from 100 to 240. So this will work in any country, as long as you have the right power cord. Plug that in there. I'm gonna put these boxes away. I'm not gonna use them right now. We'll keep them just in case. And let's see what other tools we have. I'll put this in here. I'll put this down here, beside me here, before I open up the Fusion Splicer. So what else we got? Ooh, these are my favorite style of uh, fiber strippers too. I've got my pair right here and yeah, they look pretty similar. I don't know how well they're gonna be, but mm, these are my favorite ones. I've been using these for a while and I really, really like them. I also got a pair down here from Clearline. They sent me a pair, but theirs is a little bit different because they have different size fibers. So really tiny fibers. So these work for them. These ones are a little bit bigger for different size fiber, but we got strippers, cool. We got a fiber drop cable stripper. I have some fiber um, drop cable coming soon. After this video, I'll be doing that. What else do we got? What's this? I don't know. Maybe the heat shield? Yeah, the heat shield that goes on the back for when you do your um, splices and then you put your wrap on top of it for your uh, so they don't pull apart. Ooh, it's got one of these dabber things where you could put alcohol in there. Nice. I needed one of those. Cool. Uh, this is awesome. These guys have everything. We got a fiber cleaning wipes with some plastic on it that I don't need. Fiber cleaning wipes. Sweet. And I can always... Oh, it's got a hole in the top too so I can pull them out. Nice, nice, nice. What's this? Oh, okay. We got... Oh, there we go. Splice protector sleeves, that's what this is for. That's what the name was for them. So when you splice your cables together, you put this over there and then it melts this over so that's a little bit more stronger. These are 100 pieces. Uh, three mil by six, 60 mil. Ah, oh, sweet. I, I mean, that's good. That, that's good that this all comes with this. This is holy. That's big. What's this thing? Ah, uh, yes. Keys. If you want to lock it. I mean does have a lock in the front, but put those in there. It comes with, so I don't knock this off, cable, cleaver. Ooh, see how good this, they always say the most important part about fiber splicing and all that stuff is the cleave and how good it is. I don't know how good it is because I don't have any cut fiber, but I'm gonna take you guys on some videos using all this stuff to see how well it is compared to my favorite one of favorite anyways cutters from um, vertical cable and I really use this thing a lot and I like it because it's very very good when I use it I don't have any issues we'll see how good this is compared to that but it's nice that it comes with a hard case and it fits in this so let's take out the fusion splicer itself oh it, oh it has a handle oh look at that guys look at that Look at that. Look how nice that is. That's well, that, that is well laid out. Oh, I see the battery just slides in the bottom. Holy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice. And the screen flips up. Okay. Cool. I'm not going to power it on right now because I want to show people stuff. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm going to power it on. Let's do it. Goes this way. Battery slides in this way. Uh-huh. Let's see what happens if I turn it on. Oh. Come shine. Self-checking. So it is self-checking. Probably can't see that because there's glare. Check finished. And... Oh. UTC... I'm gonna go, now it's all in Dutch. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to figure that out because now I selected Dutch, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn it off and then I'll figure out how to change that back, but that's fine. So it powers up, it turns on. Now we just gotta read the manual to change it back from to Dutch because pushing the double button there changed what I wanted to set up. But 
the last guy that bought one of these and the guy that recommended this said he's had very good experiences with it and he's over many 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 splices so i'm gonna have to play with this learn it and take you guys on my adventure of doing that and uh hopefully it's a good one probably gonna be a lot better one than the viva one so uh this is it and uh Yes, there's a video coming on that guy soon, and uh, you like and subscribe and stay tuned. Watch me play with this device. See you guys later.